Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss one simple concept. A question was raised by one of my viewer. Let me open the question for you. So this was a question which was raised by one of the viewer, Matthew Silva, if, if I am pronouncing your name correctly. Very good, you have removed it. So this, this video was how to remove elements dynamically during runtime in a puppeteer. In that uh, during runtime, I have removed the elements. So he's asking you have removed it, but it's possible to change or make it invisible too. So in this video, guys, I can easily show you how can change a DOM element using JavaScript. So without any further ado, let us start the video. So now, let us come back to the video. So I have created, as you can see on the screen, I have created two files, modify DOM ELA.html, modify DOM ELA.js. Why do you want to modify an element of HTML element or any website element during runtime? So suppose I have created a website, in that I have, I have given a naming convention wrong. Let's say I wrote Java is a scripting language, whereas Java script is scripting language. I wrote that and I have published it. So what happens? So when, when the website goes live, it will show Java is scripting language. That is actually wrong. JavaScript is scripting language. So either you can modify the DOM structure itself or you can use a JavaScript language while the website goes live. While it is the HTML page runs, it will show you the JavaScript is a scripting language. I will create a simple HTML file. So now let me create a HTML file. For HTML guys, please see the screen. I cannot I cannot put this in the description because open bracket, close bracket will not be accepted in the description. You have to do something else. So if I remove this, if I put it in the description, it will not look good. See this carefully. So I'll write title of the page. So title I'll write modify DOM element. So modify DOM element. So this will come up in the title. So now in after the title, I'll add a body. So in the body, I'll write a simple header. So I'll write a header where I'll put let's modify the message. Let's modify the message. It will show up in the screen. Okay, so now once I have taken the h1 tag, I'll write a p tag paragraph. In that, I'll take an ID. ID I'll write, ID I'll write the Java. So now in the paragraph, I'll write a simple thing Java is a Java is a scripting language. Sometimes it might happen, right? Java and JavaScript people get confused. They'll forget to write the script and they'll just write Java as a scripting language. Now, what I'll do here, I'll add a button knowingly that I might made a mistake or not. So I'll write on click. So I'll create a JavaScript file. I'll write modify. So I'll write on click. So let modify HTML. So this will the this will be the program which will I call. So inside that I'll write tag. I'll close the button here itself. So I'll close the button. So inside I'll write it here modify your DOM script. So button uh, the button text will be modify your DOM. And here also I'll give a source script source src and I'll write the same thing modify DOM ELE dot JS. So modify modify DOM ELE dot JS. So this will be my script. So when I close it, scoring script will become. So what we did here. So I have created an HTML file title of modify DOM element. So body has contact this will appear in the bold format. So let's modify the message. So in the paragraph I wrote JavaScript is scripting language. So button all click modify HTML itself. So now let us see how it looks like, right? Let me reload 
let me show you the message so it looks like this so let's modify the message the scripting language modify your dom so now if you click this nothing will happen since i have not written i just uh, added the function name that's it so now let us create a function so now we have to add a function which will modify the script so let me copy this so let me paste it here function modify html open bracket close bracket so now here i'll write so if i put var element i have to here i have to add it so document dot so when i put dot i can see get element by id so what id i have used so which id i want so i want to modify this paragraph so i'll copy this i'll put a java here in double quotes this is my id now so now i can add an alert or i can just add element ele if i put dot so there are many methods so i need inner html so i need to change inner html javascript is a scripting language so let me write instead of java scripting language i'll write java script is a scripting language So now, this is one simple example. Let me open the file again. Let me reload it. So now, if I click it, you can see the DOM has changed. JavaScript is scripting language. Okay. Now, so I have changed it, but it doesn't look like it changed one, right? So let me add something else so that it could look a proper like a message, right? So let let me write element really dot. we can add a css also we can add a style dot we can add a color so let me write a color as red so it might look good so let me reload it so now java css scripting language let us click on modify your dom see you can see here it shows that it has changed the dom element java script is scripting language also we can add an alert on you can also add an alert that it will you prompt the user okay you have written something wrong i'm adding an alert for you okay so i'll write ele dot inner html so i'll write before itself so i'll add alert ea capital e dot html so what will happen i'll open the this browser let me reload the page so now when i modify when i click on the message when i click on it so i get a alert say okay java scripting language So user will be will get notified. Okay, something I have to change here. Now when I click on okay, so JavaScript is scripting language. It will change. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you have any doubts in the if you have any doubts, let me know in the comments below. If you find the video informative, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.